All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I like to say, call Halayim la Yahweh ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai being the name of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Savior of the nation of Israel. Right? So, real quick, I just wanted to touch on this topic of Deuteronomy 6 and 4, which is colloquially known as the Shema prayer or the Shammai prayer in the Paleo Hebrew, right? So I'm gonna read the prayer in English. I'm gonna explain it in Assyrian Hebrew as well as Paleo Hebrew and show a supporting scripture to, to demonstrate that Christ also uh, uh, believed that this was scriptural, that this was law, right? So the scripture goes, Deuteronomy chapter six and verse four, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Or you could say, hear, O Israel, Yahweh, our God, is one Yahweh, right? So now, if you read this in the Assyrian Hebrew or the modern Hebrew, it will go Shema Yisrael Yehovah Elohim Yehovah Echad, right? Which means here, O Israel, Yahweh, our God, is one Yahweh. Or if you were to say it in the Paleo Hebrew, it would be Shema Yashar Allah Yahweh Alahayanawa Yahweh Achad which means here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, right? Now, when you read Matthew chapter 22 and verse 36, it'll say, uh, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? So this is Yahweh Shai being questioned by a lawyer. Right, and this is Yahweh Shai's answer, verse 37. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. So, how does that tie into Deuteronomy 6 and 4? Well, let's go back and read it. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Deuteronomy 6 and 5. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. So Christ emphatically said that the Shema prayer, Deuteronomy 6 and 4, is a part of the great commandment, of the foundation of the law as a whole, right? So now let's go ahead and, oh, I can't even get this pulled up because I'm on the phone. But all right, I feel like that adequately demonstrates the point. The Shema prayer, once again, is Shema Yisrael, Yehovah Elohim, Yehovah Echad in Assyrian Hebrew or in Paleo Hebrew, which we speak, is uh, Shema Yashar Allah, Yahweh Allah Hayanawa, Yahweh Echad. So I would recommend that everybody add this to your daily prayers. We should be saying this every day in our morning prayers, right? And with that, I like to say, call Halayim, La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Until the next time, Israel Shalom.